Here's a possible breakthrough in treating attention deficit disorder. For every correct diagnosis, there's probably three or four incorrect diagnoses of ADD. Dr. Siderman treats many children who have been misdiagnosed as having ADD, and he doesn't treat them with drugs. He treats them with vision therapy. Visually, what happens is if the eyes don't work together as a team, it creates the same kinds of problems where kids can't concentrate on tasks that are visual. But how can a parent know if their child has ADD or a vision problem? It just has nothing to do with seeing 2020. General eye exam will not uncover these kinds of difficulties. Basic symptoms often attributed to ADD include a child who cannot concentrate and is easily distracted. Those are also the signs of a visual problem. Dr. Siderman looks a bit closer. Uh, he reverses words or letters. He loses his place or skips words when he, tr when he tries to read. He has poor school performance. He may have headaches. He may even see double. And before you put your child on medication for ADD, make sure they have ADD. And the FDA has said that there were something like 56 deaths attributed to these medications. Um, so these are not mild medications. Oftentimes when a parent feels their child has ADD, they feel that it's a focus problem. This is one of the tools Dr. Siderman uses to determine if it's more of a visual problem. Six-year-old Paulina's mother noticed a change in her daughter. We knew she was struggling with uh, some academic tasks and they were um, starting to learn to read and she was getting very frustrated. After eye and IQ exams, her mom called Dr. Siderman for help. Uh, we had an hour and a half sessions uh, weekly and then there were some uh, exercises that we completed at home um, as a follow-up. Exercises like bouncing a ball inside a square or working with lenses and in school, now learning to read. I play with dolls. You can get more information about ADD and vision therapy online at helpaddvisiontherapy.com. Here's a possible breakthrough in treating attention deficit disorder. ADD affects 3 to 5 percent of the population. Many are treated with medication. Dr. Siderman says visual problems can be confused with ADD. It presents the same type of symptomatology as ADD in that the child loses the ability to sustain concentration. It looks like they can't concentrate, their mind wanders, they don't remember what they've read, the same kinds of things that that occur in ADD. Dr. Siderman says oftentimes doctors do not conduct any tests to determine if the child does in fact have ADD. There are, you know, 15, 20 different, maybe 30 or 40 different conditions that could create difficulty in sustaining concentration. ADD is not the only one. Now vision problems don't only affect a person's ability to read, it also affects your hand-eye coordination. This may look like fun and games. This is actually a training tool that helps with the ability to focus. 11-year-old Harrison's schoolwork suffered. He reversed letters when reading, and his parents sought the help of Dr. Siderman. I'm not reversing anymore, and my reading became better. Harrison wasn't a slow learner, but he was slow to learn to ride a bike. Eighty percent of the nerve fibers leaving the eye go to the visual cortex in the brain. The other 20 percent uh, of the nerve fibers leaving the eye go to the vestibular system, which is responsible for balance. So there's an intimate relationship between balance and vision. 11-year-old Gabby had a similar experience. She too struggled with reading and her mom thought she was dyslexic. I took it for granted that everything was fine, but all of her eye exams came back normal. She offers this advice to other parents. Ask your child if they're seeing double, ask them if their letters are disappearing or um, even as simple as being car sick. She would get car sick all the time. and it it's gone. To find out if your child suffers from a vision problem rather than ADD, go online to helpaddvisiontherapy.com.